A CDC meeting is creating a social media uproar. This week, CDC advisors voted to recommend COVID vaccines as part of regular immunization schedules for kids and adults. That led to viral claims suggesting the vaccine could be required to attend school. Alona lies Liza Lucas verifies fact from fiction. One question we're seeing, does the CDC committee's vote make the COVID-19 vaccine mandatory for kids to attend school? Let's verify. Our sources include the CDC, Georgia Department of Public Health, Georgia Law, Dr. Hugo Skornick, and Dr. Cecil Bennett. First, some background. The CDC's advisory committee meets every year to review and update vaccination schedules. That's used by doctors. Uh, and informs us of what are the recommended vaccines for children. So, for example, things that are on that vaccine schedule are uh, when to give the measles vaccine, when to immunize against polio. The key word is recommendation. The CDC stressing in a tweet that it's the states that make vaccine requirements for school children. The CDC has no authority to mandate vaccine for any state. States and local jurisdictions decide on which vaccines are required for children to go to school. Not only do states make the decision, but they also don't have to align with CDC recommendations. For example, the HPV vaccine is on our uh, vaccine schedule, meaning it is recommended for children to get the H HPV vaccine. Uh, however, it's not required for entry in schools. And it's the same thing with the flu vaccine. So we can verify claims suggesting the CDC has power to make COVID-19 vaccines mandatory to attend school are false. Right now, there is even a Georgia law banning COVID vaccine mandates in public schools. The Georgia Department of Public Health verifies that any changes in vaccine requirements would be decided by the governor and state lawmakers, along with public health officials. With your Verify, I'm Liza Lucas. The Georgia law that keeps COVID vaccines from being mandated in public schools is only in effect until June 30th of next year. So we've reached out to both Governor Kemp and Stacey Abrams to see what they would support moving forward. And you can find their responses on 11alive.com.